In this video, I'm going to go through the process of buying hosting at Bluehost and getting my domain set up there with WordPress installed, ready for me to start creating my website. When you get over to Bluehost, you'll see that there are some options up here. Under WordPress, we've got WordPress hosting, manage WordPress e-commerce, and under hosting, we've got shared hosting, dedicated hosting, and VPS hosting. What we want to use is shared hosting. It's the cheapest and you get to it through this hosting shared hosting link. The WordPress hosting here is exactly the same as the shared hosting. And the only reason I think that they have it listed as WordPress hosting is more for SEO purposes so they can rank for WordPress hosting as well, but it is the same. So I'm going to just go to hosting and shared hosting and scroll down the page a little bit to see the different plans. You'll see that there are a number of different plans depending on your needs. If you're just setting up one website, then the basic plan is probably all you need. But then the plus plan gives you unlimited websites, as does the Choice Plus and the Pro, and you'll get other features as well. One nice thing about Bluehost is that they give you a free domain for one year. You also get free CDN and a free SSL certificate, which are also good features to have. The more advanced plans give you more options. That's the way it is. I'm going to go for the basic plan and I need to type in my domain name here. So I'm going to go ahead and type in my domain, click on next. And it tells me that this domain is available. All I need to do is go and fill in all the details down here and I'll just do that quickly and then scroll down to the next section where it's asking for package information. And the price you see here will, will be cheaper if you buy for 36 months. So if I buy for 36 months, I'm paying £2.5p a month. If I pay for 24 months, I'm paying £3.5 a month. And if I'm paying only for 12 months at a time, I'm being charged 3.83 a month. So I'm going to go for the maximum three years. It's a great deal to start off, and that means my hosting is covered for the next three years. Primary domain registration is free. That's a $10 to $15 saving, which is great. Let's Encrypt is free. That usually is these days on web hosts. And down here we have some optional extras, which I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to turn all of them off because they soon start adding up and costing you more and more money. So here we are down here. We've got estimated tax and then the total I'm going to have to pay for three years is £88.50. It's now asking me for my credit card information. If you want to pay by PayPal, you can. You can just click this more payment options and then click on pay with PayPal. And we can then scroll down here. Be aware here it says auto renewal terms. Introductory prices apply for the first term. That's another good reason for paying for three years up front because it means you're paying the cheaper price for three years. If you only pay for one year, you get the cheaper price for one year, then it goes up to the normal price after the one year. So you'll end up saving a lot more buying for three years. Money back guarantee applies to hosting and domain privacy. All plans and products automatically renew unless you cancel. You can easily set it inside your dashboard once you've set up your account so that it won't auto renew. So if you want to do that just to be on the safe side, you can do that. Scroll down a little bit further. I have read and agree to Bluehost's auto renewal terms. And then it says, please click here if you do not want to receive emails about products. Well, I don't want to receive emails about products. It's not my only account with Bluehost. I already get emails from them. I don't need any more. And then I can click on the submit button. And Bluehost takes me over to my PayPal account to make the payment. I'm going to do that. And once the payment is done, I'll show you what happens next. My payment went through and then I was immediately redirected to this page. Success. Next, let's create your account. And you can see I've got a download receipt here if you want to keep records, but you will be emailed information as well. So let's click on create your account. And the first thing it's asking me is to create a password. I've got my domain name there and I just need to fill, fill in a password and retype the password. There are specific guidelines for your passwords. It has to include uppercase, lowercase, one special character and a few things. But if you type something that's not valid, you'll get a little error message here and it'll tell you exactly what you need. So I filled in my password. I've retyped it. I've saved the password somewhere safe, which you always have to do, and then click on create account. 
you're then taken to this page where it says your account is ready to go you can now log in so let's go to login and it's asking me to log in with that password I just created so let me type that in click login I'm going to add that to my password reminder program and I'm now logging in to the Bluehost account now this is the next page that I've come to. It says, when it comes to building a site, how much help do you want? No help needed or little help? Well, I don't need any help, so I'm going to click on no help. And I'm going to click on skip this step because it says, what type of site are you building? Don't need help with that. And are you comfortable creating websites? Let's skip that step. And then it says, what are the goals? Let's skip that step. It says, what would you like to add to your site? I'm going to skip that step. I basically want a blank WordPress install. And then what do you want to name your site? Add a tagline. The tagline is just sort of a catchy line for your site or your business. And then click on continue. Pick a free or premium theme that inspires you. I want to skip this step as well. I don't want to pick a theme at the moment. Now, great work. We're installing WordPress. So Bluehost is now going through the process of taking the information you gave them and installing WordPress. And there you can see that is now complete. Before I touch anything else on this screen, let me just bring in another web browser. And all I'm going to do is type my domain in just to show you that WordPress has been installed. And there we are, a new WordPress site coming soon, and also a link to log into the admin. Let's close that and go back to this screen. The way Bluehost has set this up is to allow you to log into your WordPress through this button here. So if I click on that WordPress button, and you may get pop ups here trying to sell you privacy or something else, just say you don't want them and to skip that. This will log you into your dashboard, but I'm going to drag the menu bar down here so you can see the address that they are directing me to. OK, this is certainly my domain because you can see it's up there, 21z. But the URL, look, is a temporary domain. To fix that, let's go back to the portal. We're going to My Sites, Manage Site, go over to Settings, and then you can see the site URL is this temporary site. Well, I don't want that. What I want is https colon forward slash forward slash 2w0nzy.com and click on save updates. It's now asking me for my home URL. So I'm going to delete that and type in the same. Click on save updates. Once that's saved, if you now click on the login to WordPress link, you should be taken to WordPress on your correct domain. And here we are logged in now. You can see I'm actually into my domain here. The first thing I want to do is to change the password for my login account because Bluehost has created one for me and I've logged into the dashboard through Bluehost, but I don't want to go to, through Bluehost every single time. And the password we set up earlier in this video was to log into our Bluehost account, not our WordPress account. So let's go down to Users, click on Users, click on your user name, and note that usernames are case sensitive, and scroll down to where it says Password. And basically, I want to generate a password. I'm going to generate a password and then I'm going to click on this hide button here so I can hide it from the video. OK, that's done. I've created a password. I've hidden it. Let's click on Update Profile. And you can see Profile has now been updated. All right. Now, instead of having to go through Bluehost to log into your dashboard, if we just log out and let's go to the domain homepage. There's the domain homepage. All you're going to do is you're going to put a forward slash WP dash admin on the end of your domain name. Press on return and that will take you to your login page. Make sure you bookmark it. 
and then you can use your username and the password you just created in the dashboard to log in to your WordPress account. There we go, we're now in the WordPress dashboard. Bluehost has installed a number of plugins. If I go over and have a look at the plugins, you can see there's a number of plugins there. Most of them I don't want. Bluehost do have a plugin that relates to their web hosting, so it might be worth keeping that. You can go and have a look at the settings over here, Bluehost settings page, and see what exactly that is doing. But the rest of those I would delete. Now I'm logged in to my dashboard at the moment, so if I go over and view my site, you can see I've got the empty site there. However, that's only because I'm logged in. If I was logged out of my site, I'm going to just copy my URL here, we'll log out of the site, we'll paste in the URL and visit, and you can see we've got a coming soon page. And the reason for that is that one of the plugins that WordPress installed, or at least Bluehost installed, is a plugin with some settings that adds a coming soon page to your site. You can get rid of that by clicking the launch my site, or the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to log back into my dashboard and go down to the Bluehost settings up here and just click on coming soon page to disable it. And once that's disabled now, if we log out and we go to the home page of the site, we should see that the site is now working. And there you go. So that's how easy it is to set WordPress up on Bluehost using Bluehost as both the registrar and the web host. If you're ready to get started, there is a link to Bluehost below this video.